Hey everybody, um, so this is a recording of our social media basics Zoom web conferencing app program. Um, this happened on April 3rd. Um, so what we're going to do is it's just going to be uh, a quick intro to how to get Zoom, how to use it uh, for your meetings and video conferencing needs, um, some games and activities you can do while you're using it, um, and then some quick privacy and security tips at the end. Um, and then at the very end, um, we just have a recording of our question and answer period um, from the original program. Um, if you do have a question that isn't answered in that, um, you can get in touch with us. All of our contact information is available on our website. Um, you can find us on show social media um, or you can leave a comment on this video. I right, hope you enjoy. Um, so does anyone have any questions before we get started? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, no question. Okay. Um, so just to talk you through what I'm doing. Um, so at the bottom of your screen, um, there's a screen share green button. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click the arrow next to it. And yeah, so only I can share right now. Um, so I'm going to click the green share screen. Um, and when you do this, it'll pull up all of the windows that you have open right now. And it'll also have a whiteboard option um, and an iPhone or iPad uh, option uh, if you're using one of those. Um, so I'm just going to click on to share computer sound and optimize screen sharing for a video clip. And then I'm going to go to my films and TV app. I'm going to share that and I'm just going to hit play setting up an account with Zoom um, using the website um, and just a little bit quickly um, how you set up through the mobile apps. Um, then we're going to discuss uh, setting up a meeting and joining a meeting um, and adjusting some of your settings through the desktop app. Um, and then I'm going to show you a couple games and activities you can do with your friends and families over Zoom. Um, and then just to wrap up, we're going to have just like a couple quick safety tips and privacy tips. Um, just because you are using an online interface, we do want you to stay safe online. Um, so to get started, we are on the Zoom website, which is zoom.us. Um, and then when to sign up for an account, um, you just want to click on this orange button here, sign up for free. Um, so with a free account, uh, you do have a cap of 100 people in a meeting, which is a lot. Um, you also do have a cap of 40 minutes for more people than two on a meeting. So if you're having a one-on-one -on -one meeting or chat with someone, um, you don't have a time limit on that. But if you had two or three people in on a call, you would be restricted to 40 minutes for that. Um, so what you're just going to do is you'll enter your first and last name and uh, Zoom asks for work email. Um, you can enter a personal email. That's totally fine. Um, you'll be sent an activation code that you can click on um, and then have the other first meeting. Um, you do have the. The option to also set up using your Google or Facebook account. And just looking at the download center here. So this is just the main desktop app right here. Um, it's the main one you'll be using. Um, if you are planning to use this for work or you want to pre-schedule meetings with friends and family, um, you can add this Zoom plugin for Microsoft Outlook, um, which just enables you to start and schedule your meetings and have them inputted into your Outlook as well. Um, you do have the option to have a Zoom extension for Chrome or Firefox as well. It's up to you if you want to have the desktop app or use a browser. Um, and then you do have the Zoom mobile apps. It is available through both the App Store and Google Play. Um, and yeah, so the first thing you'll do is you'll hit the orange button to start a meeting. Um, and in the next video, we're just going to look at how to do that. All right, so now that you're all set up with Zoom, um, let's just take a quick look at the desktop app, um, just a couple buttons to use um, and some settings that you might want to look at. Um, so if you want to set up a new meeting, um, you can just click this orange button right here. 
Um, so we're just going to take a look at it right now. Um, it'll send you directly into the meeting. Um, so it's asking me if I want to join with my computer audio. Um, so it's super important that you test your speaker and microphone the first time you use it. Um, there can be a couple kinks that you need to work out. Um, so we're just going to click on this. I'm going to hear a ringtone, which I do. So I'm going to hit yes. yes. And I spoke and heard. Um, so and I hit yes. And now we're going to join with computer audio. That's all good. Um, you also have the option to join with a phone call, um, but for right now, we're just going to look at computer audio. Um, so if you just look at the bottom here, um, we can enter full screen mode. And we can take a look at our audio. Um, so we can mute. Um, so this is a good idea uh, if you need to step away for a minute or if you need to talk to someone in the house that you're with, um, you can just quickly mute your microphone. Um, you can also stop your video. Again, if you need to step away, um, that's a really easy thing to do as well. It'll just post your name up at the top here. Um, and since I'm the only one in this meeting right now, I want to invite some people um, so I can use my contacts. Um, so these would just be um, people that I have in my contact already. Um, and you'll be given a meeting ID um, so you can either email that to people or copy the URL or copy the invitation. And you can also manage your participants. So it's just me right now, um, but I would be able to mute um, all of the participants in a meeting. Um, so that's what's going on right now. Um, and you'll be unmuted at the end um, so you can ask some questions. And then the next thing we have here is just share screen. Um, so I'm not going to share the screen right now um, just because you'll get the screen. Um, this would be if you needed to share a video or um, a document, um, you would just hit share screen and everyone would be able to see what you're looking at. Um, and so I have it set to only I can share the screen at any one time. This just makes it a little bit easier. Um, and then the next option we have here is the chat. Um, so you'll be able to send files through here. Um, so you can either send the chat to everyone that's in a meeting, or you can just send it to one person. Um, and so if you need to ask a question um, for whoever's leading a meeting, or if you're in a group and you just want to send a message to one person, um, you can just choose here and you can pick the person that you want to send that to. And this is just the record button. So that's what's happening right now. Um, if you're having an important meeting or meeting with someone you haven't seen in a while and you want to share it, or if you're playing a game with someone, um, recording is a really great option. Um, with the free account, um, it will be saved directly to your computer. Um, if you have a paid account, then you'd be able to add uh, it to the cloud. And then you have reactions. So if you like something that I'm saying, you can give me applause, you can give me a thumbs up. Um, and we're just gonna end the meeting now. And you can either just leave the meeting or you can end the meeting for everyone. Um, join would be if someone you know has already started a meeting, they've sent you the URL or the meeting code, you can use it to join. And you can not connect your audio or not connect your video. That's up to you. Um, and then we just have the schedule right here. Um, so this would be if you want a recurring meeting. So if you want a specific time every week or every month or every day um, that you want to talk to someone, you can set up a recurring meeting. Um, you can also set this up, require a password. Um, that's not always necessary. Um, and this would be if you want to change, uh, if the video is on or off. So right now I have it off for participants and on for the host. Um, that just makes it a little easier to manage. Um, audio, you can choose to use telephone, computer audio, or the telephone and computer audio. You can add it to a calendar if you'd like. 
and just some advanced options that you can look at. Um, you can able, enable a waiting room, so this would just be um, before everyone arrives, uh, they'd just be sent to a waiting room. Enable join before host, again, if it's before if everyone arrives. Um, mute participants on entry, um, that's probably not gonna be necessary if you're just talking to friends and family. Um, only authenticated users can join, so you'd have to log into Zoom and then automatically record meeting. Um, so that's what I would be doing right now. Um, and then you just hit schedule once you have all the settings that you'd like. Um, and this is just the screen share again. Um, and you can also choose to share computer sounds. Um, so again, if you have a video, you would wanna do that. And this is just the chat function. So if you have someone you wanna chat with before, if you wanna send some files um, and you want contacts, um, it would just be where you find that. These are meetings that uh, you've seen before. And these are your contacts. So if you want to find someone quickly, you just use that. Um, and we're just going to quickly look at some settings. So this would also be where you can test your video and audio. Um, you can see my input level is just right here. And these are some screen sharing options how your chat works and your virtual background. Um, so you'd be able to change your background. To anything you like, um, if you want to make your own, you can also download, make and download them with Canva. Um, so that would just be a login account as well. Um, recording, you can choose some options for how you want to record your profile, and you can also choose some keyboard shortcuts. Um, so this isn't 100% necessary, but if you want to take a look through these once you've downloaded the app, um, you can kind of pick a couple things uh, to make your recording or starting a video or something like that more accessible. So those are all the settings that we're going to talk about. Um, if you have any more detailed questions about that, um, you can ask in the chat um, or you can ask at the end as well. Um, so next, we're just going to talk about some games that you can play with your friends and family. Oh, okay. Okay, so Zoom is a really great way to stay in touch with your friends and family, just your chat. Um, but there are actually some games and activities that you can play using Zoom as well. Um, so the first one we're going to look at is Brothel 2. Um, so you can just see that name right here. Um, it's available through Steam for free right now, um, I believe until April 10th. Um, so it is free to download. Um, only one person needs to have it for everyone to be able to play. Um, so how this would work is someone would start a game, um, they'd share their screen, if you remember how to do that, to the Zoom chat. Um, on that, you have a room code right here. Um, you'd enter it at this address um, and then you get started. Um, so Drawful 2 is kind of like Pictionary. Um, you're given a weird statement like rejected thoughts. Um, and then you draw your best possible rep representation. Of that. Um, and then each person guesses what they think the right answer is. Um, you get points as well. If a bunch of people just like your answer, if it's funny or they think it's right, you get points that way too. Um, so that's a really great option if you're looking for games to play. Um, you can have up to eight players in that. Um, another option is PlayingCards.io. Oh, exactly. You just have a room code that you enter here, um, and then you can start playing. Um, there's a couple options here, um, so you can play Crazy Eight and Go Fish. Um, they do also have Cards Against Humanity if you're interested in that, and something you can do as a game over uh, Zoom. 
Um, you can also play social games like charades um, and other things. A um, really fun thing to do is to play werewolf. Um, if no one's ever played this before, you'll pretty much be picking uh, with the werewolf. Um, it's a game of deception. Um, we can post the link to this if you want more information. Okay, so just to wrap up, um, we'll see the privacy tips for you. Um, so the first one is don't click on any links that appear in the chat feature unless you know the person that posted them. Um, this won't be an issue for one-on-one -on -one chats or smaller groups where you know everyone, um, but if you want to have a big chat, um, just keep this in mind. Um, as with everything online, there is the possibility of people hacking in and trying to send links to things that are either inappropriate or will give you a virus. Um, so just make sure that you're not clicking on anything um, in chat that you don't know where it goes or who it's from. And then secondly, um, unless and you know everyone in the chat, again, make sure that only host can screen share. Again, this isn't an issue with smaller chats, but bigger ones, you want to make sure that you have this on. Um, when you log into your account on the Zoom website, go to settings and the feature will be under in meeting basic settings. Um, again, people can hack in, um, they can share things that are inappropriate um, or other things that you just don't want to see. Um, so just make sure you have those settings on and you'll have a lot more safety and privacy in Zoom. All right, so that's the end of the video. Um, so we're gonna just have a quick question and answer. Um, so if you have any questions that you would like to have answered, um, you can ask them now. Yeah, um, <clears throat> this is my first time use this uh, program. Sure. And uh, you know, can you see me? Can uh, you see no. No, we just uh, 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 sign there. So, do you have your video on right now? I didn't the uh, video on. Okay, um, so just on the bottom, um, there's a mute, and then there should be a start video. Oh yes, I can see the other students, Stephen, Mark, Mark Ready. Yes. I, yeah. And and uh, <laughs> how, how can I use my? Can you see me? No? Uh, what's your name? Uh, Remy Uh, no, I can't. Um, let me just see. I can send you a request to start video. Okay. Um, so I just sent that. Do you see it? Okay, sure. Okay. Yeah. Hello. There you go. Yes. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I can see everybody. Hi. Exactly. Hi. <laughs> Before square there, under under my screen. Yeah. Um. So if you just go down to the bottom bar um, and move your yeah. mouse, it'll pull up um, all the options for the chat. Um. So you can see, I there's a stop video now that you started. Um. You should be mm -hmm. able. Yeah. Just when you start a chat, just hit the start video. Um could just be because it's your first time using it. Um, I know I had to like test it when I first started my account. Um, so hopefully it'll start from now on, um, but that is the button for next time. Oh. So uh, uh, I'd like to know, uh, it's there only oh, you see Remy. Remy. all of us. Uh, 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 这个没有用... You can only see a limited amount of people, but at the very top, the pictures. If you pick something that looks like a checkerboard, okay. it will show everything. Yeah. 
Yeah. I see some family. No, <laughs> Remy, right? Yeah, yes. So <laughs> Which more before. <laughs> what did you do? You are you are show on top. I didn't know how, how to do it. Uh, I, do what? I can see you and then you can see me too. Uh, it changes depending on who's talking. So that's yes. <laughs> And we can hardly hear, I can't hear you, you're breaking up. Okay, um, so I can answer. Um, for the person that's talking, um, you will see them. Um, so, and you, I think you can also click on people um, to be able to see them. Um, it is generally the person that's talking, you will have them pop up. I have a question. Sure. Mm -hmm. um, does each meeting last for 40 minutes only? Um, so if you are in a group, if you have a one-on-one -on -one meeting, there's no time limit, but if you're with like two or three other people, then there is a 40 minute time limit. Oh, I see. Mm -hmm. okay. You can have as many meetings as you want in a day. So if you hit that time limit, you could just end the meeting and then restart with those people. Oh, yes. Yeah. So I don't, this is Stephanie. Can you hear me? Okay. So on the news this morning there's talk about somebody giving his dissertation and and someone else invading and writing all kinds of things on his screen during that is the tips that you gave us will those present prevent that or is that still a problem um so there are some security issues with zoom um if you do the uh if you're with a group of people where you know everyone it's not a concern um, but if you're in a bigger group where you don't know everyone um the uh, having so only the host can screen share is uh, will prevent you from seeing things that people are screen sharing um, that is inappropriate um, and then not clicking on links unless you know the person as well. Yeah. Um, there's other things that uh, Zoom, I think they, they're doing a 90 day freeze right now um, to address other security concerns as well. Second question. I'm on a tablet and you're talking about things at the bottom of the screen and I'm not seeing them. I just have four faces up on the screen and four little dots at the bottom that I think I can cycle through different things of some type. Um, so I know for me, um, I have to move my mouse around on the screen to pull up the other um, options on the bottom. If you tap the screen, do they come up? Yes. But mute, stop video, share, and participants, and more. Yeah, that's what I've got. Okay, good. Yeah, so I think the, the more would have the other options that we discussed yeah, in the video. So tap the screen. Thanks. Yes. Um, does anyone else have any questions? Um, yeah, how many, um, I, mean, I mean, how many persons joined this uh, meeting? I, I only can see four of us. Um, so there are currently nine people in this meeting. Um, so what I have, um, I also have the chat window up. Um, so if you click on the chat, you might be able to see that. Um, it might also be that I'm the host, so I can see that information too. Hmm. Um, yesterday I was trying to use this mm -hmm. and, and I, I my question is, do I have do people have to be in my Zoom contacts before I can invite them or can I just invite them? In no, you can just invite them. Um, so if you want to invite people, you would hit the invite button um, and it will give you a link um, and a personal meeting ID. Um, so you can email that to someone. You can send them an instant message with the link as well. And they have to have Zoom as well, I guess. Um, don't think you need to have it. Um, you just have to access it through the website. Um, yeah, it is easier if you do have the account. Okay, thank you. Um, one question. Sure. Um, for the screen, share screen, how do we use it? How do we... Um, uh, so are you on a laptop? Yes. Okay. Um, so if you move your mouse around um, and go to the bottom bar on the bottom of the screen, 
Um, you won't be able to do it right now. And I don't know if the option will come up because I've turned that off for participants. Um, a regular meeting, um, there's a green button that's a screen share at the bottom. Yeah. Um, so what you'll do is you'll click on that. Um, it'll show all the windows that you have <clears> open <throat> at that moment. Yeah. Um, and then you would just click on the one that you wanted to screen share. Um, so if do, I uh, click on one screen, then I share that one, the, the screen with that one, that person only, you mean? I know you share with everyone in the group. Um, you would only share that screen though. Oh, okay. And I see Linda has a hand up. Oh, yes, I do. Um, I'm using my cell phone to to attend the Zoom, and it's the first time I've downloaded the app. Mm -hmm. And I noticed when you mentioned the more button, I hit on it, and yeah. um, I got um, lower ha oh lower hand okay. And um, but I just got some. It says um, meeting session settings, and um, I don't use that unless I'm just starting a meeting. Is that correct? Um, you can adjust your settings when you're in a meeting as well. Um, it is oh, a little bit okay. easier if you do it before. Um, okay, okay. And then when it says, st I have a line through start video, um, does that mean I would have been videoing, um, recording it, or just watching your tutorial? Uh, so start video would be you start the video on your phone. Um, so okay. your webcam would come on and we would be able to see you. Oh, that's why I, yeah. okay, I didn't, okay, <laughs> okay, okay, thank you very much. No problem. Um, so when it says it wants to access the camera, that's what it means. Yes. Yeah. Okay, thank you very much. No, I'm enjoying this. It's um, <laughs> opening an, another window of opportunity. Yeah, um, yeah, that's definitely the goal of this program. Um, we want to give uh, the community some new ways to connect with each other and be able to chat with their loved ones. Yeah, thank you very much. Yeah. Um, does anyone else have any questions? Uh, I was just uh, are you, sorry, are what you are recording it? the video, the, the video that uh, the, the Zoom meeting? We, we are. Yes. Um, so what we can do is if you don't want your face or your name on, um, we would be able to blur that um, for the final video that's going on our social media. Um, cool. So. So sorry. After this uh, meeting, shall we uh, we see the video, right? We can uh, see the. So I'm recording it on mine. You would have to record it on yours as well. Um, but we will make this video available. Good. Okay. So normally we would have to a person would have to record it, but you're saying because you're going to be putting it on YouTube, you can we see. We would it. still be able to access it. Yeah, it should be up next week, I would think. And are there any more questions? I'm having uh, trouble seeing the chat thing you're talking about. I'm not sure which? where it would be. Uh, the chat feature where we, I could type something in. Is that um, right? Andrea? Oh, that's under in more. Okay. More. Hello. Hi. Hi. I just want to know, I, I just sent a a word to Samuel and and Remy. I just want to know. Uh, I want to ask them to uh, receive my my message. I just try to use the uh, from where the message from where. Mm -hmm. Um. Do you guys have the chat open right now? We chat. Samuel? Yes. Do you receive my message? You mean the WeChat? No. What no, we... no, in this room. In this room? In this, in this meeting? Yeah. Um, yeah, so I send you the let me see. So there's a couple options. You can we... either um go no, down to the bottom I bar do. and open chat. Um you can also hit Alt and H and that will open the chat too. Okay. So let me see. Let me get to Remy's uh, chat. No, Samuel, I'm yes. Sherry. You take the right. <laughs> right oh, Sherry. Top. Oh, Sherry. Right top. Yeah, we meet oh, in the other. Sherry. Okay. So Samuel, please, please take the quick in the very top right hand side. Yes. 
Uh, do you know that you can mute your microphone? I'm Sherry. Is that what you are saying? Oh, yes, Shirley. We are learning. Yeah. <laughs> um, and if you want to like test this out after the program too, give someone a call and just like go over all of the settings too. Um, that's a great way to learn. Rami, do you receive my message too? Mm. Who are you talking to? Uh, Shelly, Shelly, not Shelly and Remy, me, not Remy. Yeah, mm -hmm. here, here now is Remy. I saw your message, uh, Samuel and uh, Pearly. I saw your yeah. message. Okay. Uh, it's so nice <laughs> to see you again. <laughs> I see. Yeah, and I saw you on the square. Thank you, everyone. No, no, Thank no. you all for coming. Um, does anyone else have any more questions? No. Or should we wrap up? Um, um, yeah. uh, not a question. I'm just th saying, I don't know if the other people are on laptops, but it's it, it, finding the controls is a little different um, on a tablet, or I guess. Yeah, I, um, I think the desktop app is a little bit easier to um, yeah. find everything on. So it would be good maybe if you could um, do one with a tablet or um, just yeah, um, yeah I can I'm going to be uh, on site next week um so what I can do is I can do some screen grabs from that um, I, and I am on mobile right now too so oh, wow. real quick I can give you a, a, a yeah. is it sounding better now am I not cutting out yeah, yeah you're better now okay so I am on mobile so I can see what you're seeing although I'm on a phone not on a tablet yeah. So it, I can tell you it is a lot more uh, complex on the phone than it is on the computer. Um, yes. You have to tap to access everything. Uh, the mute, the video, the share, participants, and more are, are a little harder to find. You can swipe, though, Stephanie, if you want to try swiping the screen, you'll see a few more I options. I swiped and it took me oh, over yeah. to the participants, oh, like yeah. a list right. of them. Sometimes, not right now. And then if I swiped again, I got the chat thing. Right, yeah. Yeah, so it's it's a little harder to play around with and you have to get used to it and practice it because it's quite a bit different to describe. So uh, we'll, yeah. we'll account for that. Yeah, we'll just a suggestion for the future, not a complaint. Okay, thank you. Um, and does anyone else have any more questions? Okay, uh, Linda has a hand up. Oh, because I didn't know how to ask a question without doing that. Um, <laughs> I know, thank you for mentioning about swiping because I'm on my cell phone and all of a sudden then everybody's face appeared, which um, if when he told me that, it's, it's a matter of me learning, I think, to practice more than anything. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'll have to, because I don't have a computer, but I have a tablet or my cell phone. So when you do the new, to, I would really like to participate in that as well, when you do it for a tablet. Yeah. Um, so we don't have one scheduled for a tablet right now. Um, we do have, next week we're doing one um, for house party and then similar things to that, um, which are only mobile app. Um, now what's house party? Uh, it's a video conferencing app. Um, oh, but you can okay. play games. Uh, it has okay. games built into it. Um, so we're going to be going over how to use that next week too. Um, One so question too. If you have a, if you're chatting with people and someone has a virus in their computer, you can't, I mean, it sounds like a silly question, but you can't get it from using Zoom, can you? Like, um, I don't think so. They would have to upload something to the Zoom for you to Oh, okay. Okay. So if you don't share material or something that way. 
Yeah, I, I don't think you can get a virus just from chatting from with someone. Okay, okay. It's just something you think about when they were on the news last night, they were talking about hacking into Zoom. Yeah. And yeah, so that's why I was just wondering. Yeah, so um, what it is, is people are hacking into chats and then uploading links or files, and then people are clicking uh, on that, and that's what's giving the viruses. Oh, okay, I see. Okay, thank you very much. Best practices, generally speaking, are don't click on links or files from partly from people you don't recognize, okay. or if you're in a big open chat with lots of participants, um, it's generally best practice unless you expect something to come anyway. If it's something unsolicited or unrequested, best not to. Yeah. Good. Um, for the reaction down, reactions, there are only two sign here, I think, right? Only the phone. Yes, and, uh, I think there's only the two. Only the two, okay. We can't get any more. <laughs> Um, not that I'm aware of. Um, I can definitely look and see if you can have more reactions, though. <laughs> okay. Um, more questions from anyone? No, thank you. No, thank you. Thank, thank you, you so very much. much. Yeah, you're very welcome. Um, thanks for joining us this week. Um, as I mentioned, um, so I'm going to be taking the video and uh, editing it next week, and then hopefully it'll be available next week as well. Um, and next week on Thursday at 10, um, we're going to be looking at the House Party app, and then a couple apps that are similar to that, um, just if you want more uh, game options to do with uh, friends and family. Yeah. Um, so that's it for this week, um, and I hope to see you guys all next week as well. Okay. Thank you. Bye bye. Yeah, bye. bye. I'm just going to end the meeting now. Okay. Okay. Okay.